Hey friends, I'm so happy to see you guys. Anyway, so today's video, obviously you can see that it is about breakage, what it is, what causes it, some of the symptoms, and how we can fix it. So, um, a brief little summary, little difference, little comparison between breakage and hair loss. So breakage is where your shaft, your hair shaft breaks off. And that's why we, when you when you have breakage, you find that your hair strands are like very um they're very like short. You know what I mean. So with hair loss is when like your entire hair strand falls out of your head. So that is the main difference between breakage and hair loss. And that's all because today we're talking about breakage, not hair loss. If you want me to talk about a video of what hair loss is and all of that stuff, you can let me know in the comments below okay so breakage is when um a piece of your hair shaft breaks off and that results in um, a split end and then that results in your hair being shorter makes sense right so before we continue yes um breakage is normal like if you have natural hair or just hair on your head it's very normal um the only problem is um, when it's too much. So how you can tell if it's a lot is um, I'm sure you've seen how you how much hair comes out of your head when you are taking out um, a protective styling So like for example, if you had like braids or whatever the story is um, A lot of hair comes out. You know what I mean? So if that amount is the same as um, The amount of hair that comes out on a normal wash day, then maybe you have a problem you understand so for me i think that's like one of the easiest ways to see um if me there's a lot of hair coming out or if it's normal so it is normal because your hair is constantly um not, not like really constantly but it grows all the time and so it has to make space for the newbies at the root so some of the hair at the end has to go okay cool so what causes it so there's i i wrote down 11 things that cause it um, i'm not gonna go like in super detail because i didn't like to do that much research but um here we go so the most common ones is um your hair being dry as well as lack of moisture which kind of go hand in hand another thing could be um there could be damage to your scalp or your scalp is dry um something else can be stress um so yeah i mean stress is just in general not good for you like for your body your skin your hair so just i'm not gonna say don't be stressed but when you're stressed just do some like breathing exercises you know what i'm saying unless you you work well when you're stressed then next thing um is heat damage which is also something that's quite common um something else could be over processing so that's um relaxing your hair um i thought perming your hair was the same thing as relaxing but in the article they were like perming relaxing i was like whoops so things like that as well as coloring your hair so anything that's going to just stress your hair out things like that that's over processing um something else is over washing your hair which is a real thing that's why i always say that you need to figure out what routine works for you. If you're someone that puts a lot of product into your hair, then obviously washing your hair quite often makes sense. If you don't put a lot of product into your hair, um, then don't. But also, I mean, if someone has um, an oily scalp, then like what can they do? They have to wash their hair. So you need to figure that story out, but don't overdo it. I would say like a minimum once a week, unless you're like white, because why people wash their hair more often because it gets more oily, blah, 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 blah. So if you have hair that's like that, then obviously it makes sense to wash it every day. And also you need to remember with shampoo, it's for your scalp. With conditioner, it's for your hair strands. So don't be working the shampoo into your actual hair. That's why it's sometimes your hair just is just like dry, it's nasty. Especially if you have like sulfate shampoos, just concentrate it onto the scalp. Because that's what shampoo is for, it's for clarifying your scalp. Just removing all the build up that has been sitting on your scalp from all the products that you've been putting into your hair um and then conditioner you work that into your hair strands naturally there's going to be some that's gonna 
fall onto your scalp or land onto your scalp that's normal but don't be like massaging it in like it's an oil or something you understand and um even if you don't use sulfate shampoos i don't think it's really necessary unless you're using like um a clay mask or like natural clarifiers you know what i mean like you're making your own shampoo then i guess you can work it into your hair but if you're buying from a brand then i would just say shampoo for the scalp conditioner for the hair okay just keep it just don't complicate it okay um so the next thing is elastic size so we've spoken about this um don't use the one with the metal bands i'm not gonna say it again probably will um and also it's very important that you use um, a material that's going to be gentle onto your hair like you can't be using like elastic elastic bands you know what i mean like yikes you know what i'm saying so use like something that has like silk or um um satin or you know what i mean things like that use something that's not going to um cause friction against your hair onto your hair um the next thing could be the wrong brushing or combing techniques or you're using the wrong brushes for your hair or things like that so you need to figure out what works for you and your hair for some people white tooth combs don't do anything for some people detangling um, brushes don't do anything so you need to figure out what your story is if it's better for you to just finger detangle your hair things like that so you need to figure out what's good for your hair and what also makes you as a person great um the next thing is lack of hair trims so i know i don't really talk about trimming i don't know if i do i don't know if i have um but um in order to have healthy hair you need to be trimming your hair often because like i said if you have breakage or split ends in general you want to cut them babies off because they don't help anyone you know what i mean like just let it go so that your hair can also like guys after trimming your hair you just feel like oh my gosh i have like brand new hair like it's such an amazing feeling um so figuring out how often you need to trim your hair that's all up to you some people trim every month some people every three months every four months but you need to trim your hair guys um and it's also very important like i've always said don't just use random scissors don't be like me okay go i i, I know i've seen them at this game i'm sure clicks also has them those um scissors for your hair those really sharp ones because if you use the wrong scissors you're going to create split ends don't do it don't risk it with your hair okay i was just really in a dark place and i was lazy to go to clicks or just getting to buy that scare so that's why i use the normal scissor but i would never let anyone that i know just cut the hair with random scissors okay got that cool sure then the next thing is improper um towel drying so first of all don't just use any towel you use the towels that have that micro wah 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 i don't know what it's called i keep saying micro what 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 the ones that you know um that come with those gentle face cloths that type of um material that's going to be gentle onto your hair if you don't have that you just use a normal cotton shirt so what you want to do is not like be like those white boys in movies that just like I think guys in general just do that with a towel they just be like and it's like no your hair so what i do is i take a shirt and then i just like squeeze the hair and the, the water or whatever um out instead of applying friction and you know what i mean like just try not to agitate your hair more than you need to you get cool then um the last thing that i'm going to talk about and what causes it is your diet so what's essential for healthy hair is zinc iron folic acid adequate proteins as well as antioxidants so um basically because i also listed some vitamins that are quite important this is basically just saying that you need to have a well-balanced diet you need to make sure that you're eating all the essential proteins and you know making sure you're getting some form of antioxidants into your body as well as like uh, different protein i mean vitamins and minerals things like that so in general just have a um a well-balanced diet but let's get into the specifics okay so um first i wrote vitamin a where you can find in carrots pumpkin spinach milk eggs yogurt you know what i'm saying next is vitamin b's where you can get from almonds meat fish dark 
<laughs> dark leafy greens then next vitamin c where you get from citrus fruits strawberries as well as peppers i didn't know that i didn't know peppers had vitamin c you learn every day and then vitamin d go outside get from the sun um well you don't really get vitamin d from the sun it actually that's just not going there but just go into the sun so that it can help your body make vitamin d because that's essentially what it, it's not the actual sun rays that give you vitamin d anyway um and fatty fish i did not um google what the hell fatty fish is um i was lazy so i'll probably put it in the video as i'm editing um examples of fatty fish and then lastly vitamin e where you can get from avocados sunflower seeds spinach almonds you know what I'm saying? so it's just very important that you have a very well balanced diet not just for your hair but for your body in general for your skin for your organs like everybody going to be happy because what you need to understand is whenever you're changing your diet like whether you're trying to eat cleaner or you're incorporating more water you need to understand that your body isn't gonna just just clean make your skin clear or your hair is going to grow it's going to first fix what's happening um internally so it's first going to make sure that your organs are dope everybody's good before um you can see a difference in your skin in your hair in your nails you understand so it takes time but it doesn't even like you just need to make sure that you're healthy you know like yes it's nice to have a lot of hair on your head it's nice to have clear skin blah blah blah, blah. but it's very very important that you are healthy because there's gonna come a point in time where your hair's gonna stop growing and your skin is gonna like wrinkle and stuff like that well i know mine is i know black don't crack but i'm gonna crack i hope i don't <laughs> <laughs> anyway so you know these things don't last like rather get old and be healthy you know what i mean like i'm not trying to like visit you in hospital because your kidneys have issues or your heart has problems like please just take care of yourself now in your 20s or 30s and your teenage years because it's very very important okay life lesson over so some of the symptoms um to see if you ought to just let it go some of the symptoms um like i said are split ends something else could be uh sometimes your hair loses color and then the next thing example could be frizz which kind of goes hand in hand with split ends um a brittle texture as well as dull hair so with dull hair i mean you could probably tell when your hair is happy and when your hair is just thirsty it's tired and it's just sad you understand what i'm saying so yeah that's kind of the symptoms so if you have one of those symptoms maybe you should um listen to what i have to say next because this is how we can fix it you're listening it's very easy very simple straightforward anybody can do it let's go so first thing you want to do is deep condition your hair so for me i deep condition my hair every time i wash my hair if you deep condition too much there is a thing such as over moisturizing your hair so you don't want to do that because apparently that's like really difficult to reverse it's the same as when you put too much protein into your hair so but over moisturizing your hair i heard it's just the bottom it's the pits it's just not a place you're trying to be because it's easier when you have dry hair because you can just add moisture but trying to take the moisture out it may seem like you just have to shampoo it, but it's difficult. It didn't sound great because I was watching a I was uh, um so a point in time one of my the YouTubers that I used to watch because YouTube doesn't tell me when she posts pictures I mean um videos anymore. I don't ring the bell because sometimes ringing the bell is just so aggressive. Do you know what I mean? That's why I don't always say you guys much ring the bell because like it can be so aggressive sometimes. You know what I mean? like just relax you know come ring the ball for everybody so anyway <laughs> um she was dealing with the hair because it had a lot of moisture in it and she just looked like she was at the bottom and so guys just don't overdo it that's the moral of that story so deep conditioning hair is very important especially especially if your hair is thoroughly steep okay 
Next um, is uh, using heat protectant. So if you're someone that really cannot not straighten their hair or blow dry their hair and things like that, then use a heat protectant. Like give your hair some bodyguards, you know, give your hair a little bit of defense. You know what I'm saying? Like help it. You know what I mean? If you're going to hurt it, at least give it like, what do they call those things? Bulletproof vests. You know what I'm saying? Help it. Um, the next thing um, is using a detangler. So this is normally if maybe you're retouching your hair or you are someone who prepares their hair before they wash their hair. So using a detangler just helps in terms of, you know, just making your hair more manageable so that you don't, like I said, um, stress it a lot and all of those like a bit like violent things. Because, you know, like sometimes when detangling your hair, it can get a bit aggressive, it can get a bit violent. Um, so using a detangler really helps um, and I would suggest using the on Jackie's one that I use It's beautiful guys like ugh, it's just bellissima. It's just beautiful and um, Very hydrating. That's why it's so beautiful. You know what I mean? Like you don't even need water You don't even need water and I am low porosity it's... Thank you then next is using um gentle hair ties so like i said when i was, was talking about um the elastic ties that you want to use something that's not gonna bite your hair and it's very important also if you're someone that's just like always rocking some type of pondo hairstyle like you're always doing two bands or you're always doing like a high bun or one you know what i mean you're just always busy with the hair ties then you have to be gentle when you're taking them out because i know i'm not like every time i fuss on my hair i'm always just like taking it and just like pulling it out which isn't great because it rubs against the ends of your hair and then that can create split ends and then that can also just just it's just like just a slippery 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 road downhill it's not the cutest place to be so as patient and as nice as you are when you tie your hair have the same energy when you're taking your hair ties out next is using a silk or satin pillowcase or um head scarf or hair bonnet and this is very important because you know when you're sleeping you don't really know what's going on you know what i mean you don't know how many times you turn around and things like that and obviously when you're moving your head around you're rubbing against the material of the pillow and so cotton is rougher and it wants to just take everything out of your damn hair whereas with silk and um satin it's just there just to protect your hair so you kind of like massaging your hair because it's also not as um aggressive as the material that cotton is did that make sense i hope it did because i'm not saying that again i hope it made sense so just i would suggest getting pillowcases because like sometimes when you like fuss out your hair at night like the thing comes out and this it's so annoying because like i'm trying to be a better person i really am and you're not helping but also like the pillowcases are masivity, do you know what I mean? Unless you get ones that you just throw over the pillow when you're about to sleep. Do you get what I'm saying? So yeah. Because like, I mean, what if it doesn't go with the sit? You base it that you have. That's why. And I have to buy a whole uh no. Nah. So maybe that. Um, next you could lower the temperature on your styling products. So instead of like straightening your hair at like 180 degrees Celsius, maybe try like a hundred degrees. Do you know what I mean? Something low, um, something that's not going to really hurt your hair. Um, but obviously, like, there are a bit of cons because obviously when your hair won't be as straight, maybe it will take a bit longer, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes you're just going to have to make sacrifices. You know what I mean? If you want healthy hair, if you want happy hair, you're going to have to make some sacrifices. Like, some things are going to just have to miss you or some things you're going to just have to cut down on. Do you understand? So, yeah. Then the last oh whoa then the next thing is to do um treatments before or after you color your hair or you're going to do a protective styling so if you're going to leave your hair alone for a while so that's like protective styling or you're going to damage your hair that's like um coloring your hair or you're going to straighten your hair or something like that you want to do a um a hair treatment so like a hair mask or something that's going to just give your hair extra moisture so that during that period it's stronger you know what i mean like it's just 
you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna go down without a fight. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's very, very important, especially for someone who likes experimenting with their hair or things like that. It's very, very important that you help your hair help you. Thanks. Um, then lastly, it's very important to comb your hair with a product in, you know, like a detangler or like a conditioner. Like, I know there are not people out there that are busy combing their hair, their natural hair dry like that. Please don't do that. If you're that person, I don't even know how you're doing that because that's damn painful. But like, it's very, very important to use a product that has slip. That's why most people detangle their hair when it's like they wash their they detangle their hair in, um using a conditioner do you know what i mean because it has a lot of slip it makes things easier blah 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 so do that and don't hurt your hair so that's it guys we covered what it is what causes it the symptoms and how we can fix it so i really hope this video helped you i know that i learned something um when i was reading the articles and things like that so i hope that you did too and if you have any contributions, if you have any questions, you can just let me know in the um, comments below or, you know what I mean, if you want to DM me on the Twitters or Insta Breezy, you're more than welcome to. Everything is linked in the description box. And I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys are doing well. I know it's tense out here, but we're going to make it. And when we come out of this pandemic we're gonna be looking good we're gonna be looking snug we're gonna be looking fire because we are those people all right guys i'll see you guys in my next video peace